Hi everyone, I'm Amber from Rover.com. This is my dog, Olive, and this is our story on how she somehow became a dog fluencer on Instagram. So to back up a little bit, I had recently lost my last Boston Terrier, Gus, and when I got Olive, I really wanted to just share her joy with the world, and that's kind of really where things took off. So I started with maybe a thousand followers, mostly coworkers, friends, family. One day I posted a video of Olive doing zoomies around our ottoman in our basement and it got like 20,000 views. And I thought, oh my gosh, like people really enjoy kind of just seeing her be a puppy. So I started posting more and from there I just got more and more followers. So. Today I just kind of wanted to give you some tips, what worked well for me, what might work well for you, um, and maybe your dog can have the same path as she did. So my first tip is to be unique. There are a lot of dogs and dog accounts on Instagram, accounts that repost dog photos, and I think it, when you take a step back, you can really find out what it is that makes your dog so cute. Um, for me, I, had this idea for a while when I started getting a little bit of traction after the Zoomy video, and I thought, gosh, she has such a great personality. I want to be able to share that with the world by like giving her a voice. And I had this idea, I said, I'm gonna, I want to do like a caption where it's like really horribly spelled, like if a toddler was writing it, explaining to you about like their day at school, like, you know, words are kind of wrong. And so I thought, but that is just stupid. So I thought about it for like a week and I'm like, I'm just gonna do it. So I did it and people loved it. Another thing that I noticed early on was people were like, oh, look at that glossy lip, look at that worm lip. And I honestly didn't know what that meant. Um, so for those of you who don't know what worm lip is, it is when a dog's under lip is shiny and it dries out a little bit and there's some lines on there. It looks like a little worm on your sidewalk. That is what it is. So, so many people loved that she looked like she had lip gloss on. So I took that and I went with it and her glossy lip is now a thing that is just like, it's in every photo. People always comment on it. She was a Mac makeup girl for Halloween and like people ate that up because she was giving custom lip gloss recommendations. If you see people commenting, listen to pe what people like about your dog and try highlighting those things because that will get a lot of engagement on your posts. So my second tip is to really engage with your community and your followers. Um, like I said, I have had a lot of people who have been following me since she was just a couple months old. Um, and it's the same people all the time she has, um, selected a guy in San Diego as like her number one fan because he always comments on the pictures and I, I noticed that. And so I replied one time and with the little award emoji and I said, you are now our number one fan. And it was, it's just a fun way to, you know, keep people engaged and keep them commenting. Um, so I always try really hard to reply back to people in the comments when they ask me questions or if they comment like, oh, Olive, your glossy lip looks so cute today. I'll reply back to them as Olive and be like, oh, thank you, you know, spelled wrong, of course. I just think that's an important piece to keep people feeling connected and, um, you know, you have no reason to ignore the people. They like your dog, she's obviously cute, so. And I honestly think that's one of the most fun parts. So my last tip is that although cliche, lighting does matter and the photo quality is kind of crucial when you're posting. Videos, it's a little bit harder, but when I'm posting a picture and I really want like her glossy lip to shine, like natural daylight is everything. Or taking a picture outside or by a window. Um, if you have really dark lighting and people can't see like your dog's face clearly or if the photo's blurry, um, it really can be a make or break. So I think, you know, taking the extra time to focus the camera on the area that you're trying to highlight, whether it's the glossy lip or she once had a split end on one of her whiskers, that was a big deal. You know, focusing on like those little things that correlate with the caption that you're writing. Um, 
is great. And now with cell phone technology, like it's so easy to, you might have you know your photo reel of hundreds of photos just to get the right one, but it matters. So I'm sure there is a lot more that people want to know or have questions. Um, you can comment below. You can follow us on Instagram. It's at olive.and.gus. And you can subscribe here to Rover. We make these videos just for you. Um, Olive wants you to subscribe too. So we will see you all next time.